Guys, today we are going to upgrade this Asus Tough laptop. This is the F17 variant and oh boy, it's going to be a really huge upgrade. The NVMe SSD that I'm going to install is from WD. This is the 2TB variant and the RAMs that we are going to install are 32 plus 32. That is a whooping 64 GB of RAM. This machine by default comes with just 8 GB and a lot of people have doubts that 64 GB may not work. So today we are going to test that thing as well. By the way guys, if you want to buy any of these products like laptops, SSDs or RAMs, there will be a bunch of affiliate links in the video description or in the first comment. Please use those affiliate links to support my work. Now let's start opening up this laptop and installing these bad boys in its motherboard. The first step is to remove this bottom plastic panel and I am seeing a bunch of screws which I will be removing using this Phillips head screwdriver. Keep all the screws carefully and neatly so that you do not lose them or do not mix them. This particular screw is a different length than others so it's better that you do not mix the variety of screws. This particular screw is a lifting screw. It does not come out but it starts popping up the whole plastic panel. Now I'll be using a credit card to undo the plastic locks which are holding the bottom panel of this laptop. Make sure to take your time because these locks are delicate and if any excessive force is applied, the locks may break. I just went around with each and every lock using this plastic credit card. Now the bottom panel is out and we can take a look at this beautiful motherboard and let's check what kind of upgrade options we have in this particular laptop. By the way, this is Asus F17. This guide can be followed on similar looking laptops. This is a second NVMe slot where you can install an NVMe SSD. This is the default NVMe slot where the OS boot drive is provided by the company. And here below this flap, you can see a bunch of RAM sticks. I'm using 8 GB into two configuration currently. Now we'll install new RAM sticks into these particular slots. To remove the old RAM sticks, simply unclip them and pull them out something like this. And now we are ready to install the new RAM stick. I'll be using 32 GB sticks from Crucial in this particular upgrade. So there we go. This is one RAM stick done. Now time for the other. The plastic lock should be pulled outwards that is towards the left and right hand side. Something like this as being shown in the video and the RAM stick should pop out. Now we can align the tabs of a new RAM stick and insert it carefully as shown in its particular slot. This is the key that I was talking about and just gently insert it and press it down firmly and the RAM installation is complete. Now here is the 2TB NVMe SSD and I'm going to install it in this second slot. Thankfully Asus has provided this particular screw. This is a magical screw. I don't know why this kind of screw is in such short supply. It did not even come with this expensive 2TB variant. But thankfully Asus has provided the screw along with the laptop so that I'm going to use it. And there goes our beloved 2TB NVMe SSD into this particular M.2 slot. The upgrade has been finalized and we'll put back this rear back panel. Just place it gently in its place and go around each and every plastic lock securely pressing and locking them in place. After this, we can install the screws. A lot of you people had doubts whether this kind of laptop can even support 64 gigs of RAM and here is your answer. Windows has picked them up no problem and there is this application known as Speccy which has also picked up full 64 GB of memory. The link to download this application is available in the description for you. One thing I did not like is this Windows 11 heavy bloated and very poor RAM management system which is eating 6 GBs of RAM without having any kind of additional application loaded just for itself. I just do not like how Windows 11 works. Here is the benchmark of a 2TB WD Blue SN580 SSD that we installed. Thankfully, I like that Asus stuff has provided a full speed slot. So it's not like the second slot has some kind of cut down speed. It provides the full speeds which is present in slot 1 and slot you can pause this video and take a look at the benchmarks. The benchmarks are generally about 3 Gbps. 
now what remains is to get rid of this stupid and bloated windows 11 and install some kind of nice linux distro so that i can get the benefit of high performance using this heavy duty and high end hardware which i have spent so much money on i have two pieces of asus tough laptops and i've upgraded both of them in this particular manner if you're interested in learning more about laptops then a bunch of video thumbnails will pop up on your screen right over here you can click on any of them and learn something new today. Take care and have a nice day guys.